Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, this is Magnius, and welcome to our first episode of The Long Dark. The Long Dark is another crafting survival game, but this time we're going to Canada. Basically due to a crazy catastrophe, a geomagnetic storm of some kind. Basically civilization has ended and we just happen to have the bad luck to be flying over the wilderness of Canada at the time. This game, The Long Dark, was developed and published by Hinterland Studio down here in the bottom left hand corner and if you would like to check it out you can check it out by clicking on the Steam link in the video description below. Now I have played this game before, I did in fact try to record it before but the, the video file got all corrupted and stuff so it didn't work out. Story mode is not available in the alpha, it is currently still in alpha, get it now while it's cheap. If we go into sandbox mode, you can see that we have three different difficulties. Now, when I tried to record before, I recorded it in Voyager mode, which apparently is the medium difficulty. The world will not actively try to destroy you, but it doesn't really give you a lot of leeway either. Now, I died like four times in 30 minutes while I was playing on this difficulty. This game is hard. It's really, really hard. And as a result, I think, so that you guys can actually see and appreciate the game, we're going to play on Pilgrim for now. Oh, we might change it to Voyager later. No, oh, we'll see, we'll see. But let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna be a Mayan. And we're gonna go to Mystery Lake. A mysterious geomagnetic storm has brought your plane crashing down into the northern Canadian wilderness. How long can you survive? I actually died in six minutes on one of the times I played when I was recording and it, uh, and the file was corrupted. It was sad. Yep, six minutes, that's how fast I died. I fell down a cliff, I broke my ankle, I got an infected wound, and I froze to death all at the same- Oh, and I burned myself with a fire all at the same time. It was marvelous. So as you can see, we are in the middle of the Canadian wilderness. We are getting colder. So basically, ooh, is this a dead animal? Oh, just what I needed, dead animals. Mmm. Hmm, we have no tools at all, so let's try to harvest this meat. Oh, can't use our bare hands. Fine, fine, whatever. I understand. We don't have a tool, so there's no way we can collect it. I see. What in the world are those rabbits? Now, this game did actually have an update since the last time I played it, so apparently they've added rabbits into the mix as well as the deer which were here before. We get to run around, and instead of, you know, like Minecraft, where you set up a farm and other survival games where you can actually stay in one place, this game is based on constantly moving. Why can I not pick up this can? Rifle ammunition. Wow. That's an entire box of rifle ammunition. I've never found that before. Painkillers. Don't mind if I do. Pork and beans. Now, when you find pork and beans and other canned goods, you actually end up losing calories from the can if you have to force it open using your hands or breaking it against something like a, a countertop. So you actually, one of the primary items in this game you're looking for as you wander around is you are looking for a can opener. Good luck finding it. I only found it once in like four lives. Now usually if this weren't the easy mode, we would be really worrying about how fast we are getting colder. Our hunger and thirst would also be going up much faster as well. We do have some clothes on. They're not very warm clothes, but they're good enough to keep us warm during the day. During the night, though, we're going to have to find something to live inside. Hopefully, we'll also have some wood by then. We can set ourselves up a little fire. I'm going to run. I'm not really sure if it's more energy calorie efficient to run or not. Why is it warmer here now? I don't understand. I'm still outside. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I have no idea why I randomly get colder, but oh well. So supposedly on this easier difficulty, I will not be attacked by any wild animals, which is very interesting because I was indeed attacked by a wolf once. It was a terrible, terrible experience. Oh, see look, here's a wolf right here. If this... Is this not frozen yet? I don't think this is frozen yet. Oh, it's only 3% frozen. This is marvelous. How much meat can we harvest? I'm going to take all the meat. Um, actually, let's, let's just do one hour and 30 minutes. Do I even have a knife? I don't think I have a knife. Oh, the humanity. 
Uh, sure, let's harvest some hide as well. I don't know. My condition is 95%. And this is now frozen. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here. So I'm freezing to death, which means that I need to get inside. Or, you know, I need to do something. I need to find some wood and make myself a fire. Fires outside are not a good idea. Now see, my problem is, is that... When you start off this game, you do not always start right next to some sort of shelter. So it basically drops you off in the middle of freaking nowhere. And it just assumes that you're going to find a place to, you know, not die. Which is a terrible assumption, I think, on, on their part. I think that you should probably assume that people are not going to find a place to live. You should probably assume, ah, there are birds over here. This probably means that there's a dead body. Let us go investigate. Come on, climb the hill. Train bridge. Oh, look. 52% frozen. Nope. But this frozen body, we can grab the stuff out of it anyway. And it was empty. I should just, I should just follow around this wolf and steal all of its food. Get out of here. This is mine. Ha ha ha. No, I'm, I'm freezing to death. I should probably only take this much. Where should I go? I'm going to assume that I can go inside the dam. How about that? I have not found any wood yet, though. So, good luck with us being able to find a way to light a fire. Now see, in some of my playthroughs, I spawned in a place that was very advantageous. I spawned right next to the frozen lake, and I was thus able to make it into the little frozen lake houses and be able to find items and stuff to live. Unfortunately, this playthrough, we do not seem to have spawned anywhere near the frozen lake, or I just simply don't understand where we are. So many carcasses of deer everywhere. Time to go inside. Oh, yes. So it's a little bit dark in here. I uh, can't see very well, honestly, to tell you the truth. I see a jerry can. Mmm, kerosene. Alright. What do we have in here? Nothing. I think M is matches. Yeah, there we go. Actually, don't see anything in here either. Why am I getting frame rate drop? It's weird. Oh, jeans, yes! And a toque! Toque is a hat. I love my hat. Um, let's see. How do I do this? Tab. Equipment. Oh, we have little pictures and stuff now. This is marvelous. Clothes. Okay. Let's see. I'm wearing basic boots. Is that it? Oh no, these are the things I'm wearing. Okay, okay, okay. And I'm already wearing a toque, actually. Never mind. Huh. I just got some extra stuff. Eh, I guess that's cool. See, before when I clicked on equipment in the uh, the old days, the, before the update, this was just a list of words. This is quite nice now, actually. Antibiotics, antiseptic, bandage, and painkillers. Alright, okay. I have lots and lots of raw venison, but unfortunately it is going bad quite quickly. Uh, tools. Not that many tools. Flare, bedroll, accelerant. And I have tinder plug and leather. Sigh, we are going to die. And of course it's so dark in here, not only can I not see, but you probably can't see anything either. Because YouTube and it's dark. This game is way too dark indoors. Way too dark. Just going downstairs. It's not like this is terrifying or anything. I seriously cannot see a single thing. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that we're doing this. This is terrifying. It's like amnesia all over again. Or, I don't know, slender. Why are we doing this? Why am I down here? Why am I inside? I know it's cold outside, but jeez, it's freaking terrifying. I'm gonna loot. 
I'm gonna use all of my matches. Oh, okay. Okay, so apparently I'm cold again. I'm still really cold, actually. Reclaimed wood! Use this. Yes! I seriously, I can't see anything. Okay, so I guess I'm just gonna deal with the fact that I can't see the things in the corners, because there are always awesome items to get in the corners and stuff, but if I keep doing this, I'm just gonna lose all of my matches. I guess I can just, like, walk around in the corner and see if, if anything lights up on my cursor, but probably not. This is creepy. Look at all of this delicious snow. So one of the ways that you can get water in this game is to melt snow, but it, it ends up being like dirty water, so you have to cook the dirty water to make it clean. Oh! Hope nobody needs this anymore. Pinnacle peaches, fire starter. That's good. Metal container, wonderful. What is in here? Wooden matches. Don't mind if I do. And basic gloves. Good. Wonderful. Okay, so we got some more matches, which is, you know, good, since I was worried that I was gonna... Oh, cedar firewood. Wonderful. That's some real firewood right there. So if we ever do find ourselves a stove, we can, you know, actually make ourselves a fire. Marvelous. It's so dark, I can't see anything. This is terrible. This is seriously a terrible building to be in. I want to get to the, the lake, because the lake is awesome. There's like knives and you can you can get a knife, break open the ice, catch fish. Fish are an amazing way to feed yourself, I assume. Maybe. What is this? Hunting rifle? Are you serious? Man, this easy mode is, is so easy mode. Unfortunately, uh, there's no stove. It's probably the bad thing. There's nothing in this corner. Hello? Darkness? There's probably gonna be something over here, right? Oh, there's a room! Okay. There's definitely something here in the corner. What is this? It's a body! It's a corpse. He's carrying Summit Soda. Hmm, for your thirst. What is this? Painkillers. Alright, I'll take those. So how do we get into that room over there? There's definitely a room. And I wanna... Get in there and steal all that stuff. I don't think I can jump. How do I get in there? No idea. I don't think I'm getting any colder, actually. I think my, my cold is holding steady. I am, however, running out of calories. I need to make a fire and cook some food. This is not a very good building to be in. Where Where's the hole in the wall that I came through? There it is. I cannot see a single thing. Oh gosh, this is so terrifying. Come on, come on. Don't kill me. Don't kill me, scary walls. Um, did I already go through here? I did not. Oh ho, first aid kit. I think this is the room, actually. I think this is... We here? Oh, bandages and candy bars. Oh god, yes. So candy bars are amazing because we can just go here, get our, our food. What is this? Candy bar. Mmm, eat it. 250 calories. Nom nom nom. Fill me up before you go go. Another candy bar. Nice. Okay... What is this? A workbench? Okay, so there's like crafting stuff that you can do. Antiseptic, wonderful. But I, I don't think that there's any crafting that's... 
Oh, black bear hide and cloth. So apparently they're bears now as well, and you can make a bear skin bedroll. Fishing tackle. Hook. Oh, okay. I gotcha. So you can make a hook. See, before I just found a hook, but I guess you can craft a hook now. That's cool. That's good. I have no idea if you can see these drawers, by the way, but there's currently a desk in front of us. Take ourselves a sewing kit. What is that? There's something on this desk. I can't... can't... A book! Eventually, a source of knowledge. For now, something to burn when you're freezing. Yeah, good point. Granola bar. Hmm. <laughs> Never been so happy to get granola in my life. What is this? The safe. What? Are you serious? How much time am I going to spend on this? Oh, wait, what? Did you hear that? Okay, okay, I think- I think it was 14. No, 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 no. Okay. It, it was- it was in there somewhere. I saw it, I saw it. There we go. Tumblr number one was like 14. 14. Oh, uh, 14... 53, maybe? 14... fourteen fifty-three. Oh no, no, that's 56. 14, 56, I should be writing this down. 14, 56, 14, 56, 14... 56, 14 56. Oh, there we go. 145651. Open. Man, that was amazing. Insulated boots. Oh my gosh. Yes, take them. Take those insulated boots and a rifle round. Thank you. Box of rifle rounds. Military grade MRE. Holy crap. That is amazing. My time well spent opening that safe. Uh, it looks. No, that's just some electrical thing. Alright, well that was cool. That was fun. I didn't expect that to happen in this game. Very, very nice. Alright. How do I get out of here? This place is creepy. I don't like it. It's dark. It's scary. How do I get out of here? Mommy! 